Hello, municipal and local government leaders from all across Canada. I'm Darren Hill, a councillor for the City of Saskatoon, where I proudly served my community for the last 14 years. My family's journey is now different than what I had thought it would be. But what remains constant and unwavering is my passion about my work for you and your community. FCM is a family. We stand together to support each other. Thank you for standing with me and my family. I'm passionate about my work as an FCM table officer and proud of what's been accomplished. I know there's still a great deal to do ahead of us. There's no doubt that the coming term will continue to include significant challenges, including new challenges that we've never faced before. I've been around the FCM committee and board table since 2007. The pandemic has reaffirmed my commitment to each of you that FCM is always mindful of the diversity of Canada's communities while still managing the needs of all its members. We know that every issue brought forward may not be relevant to every member municipality of FCM. However, that does not make the issue any less relevant or any less important. It is the job of the board to always keep these differences in mind and ensure that we're working on behalf of all our members, no matter if they're urban, rural, large or small. I've always known that FCM was flexible and could move mountains if required. COVID-19 has proven this. COVID has proven that FCM is flexible to react quickly and jump into action for all of its members. I want to continue to face those challenges with the entire FCM team on your behalf. In Quebec City, I gave two candidate speeches. In the first one, I focused on my experience and why I first ran for council. Let me share part of that with you again. I get asked regularly why I first ran for council. It's a pretty common question. I think that most of us have been asked at some point. I'd like to stand here and tell you that I did it because I want to build better lives. That, that wouldn't be the truth. I ran because I was pissed off. <laughs> My, so instead of complaining, I decided to do something. I ran and I won. Then, then I immediately fell in love with the job. From fixing a drainage issue for an 83-year-old constituent to building a $300 million river crossing, I fell in love with doing my best to make better lives. Your reason for running for council is personal to you. It's your reason. But what we do share is our commitment to our communities. Municipal leaders are the closest to the people. That's why we care so much. Our work to keep our communities safe from the pandemic, it's not done. Nowhere near it. There's so much more to do and there's so much still unknown. I want to continue working for you and with you to get us through this pandemic. A little bit about me. I was raised on a farm in the rural municipality 376 in Saskatchewan. You know, as time passed, so did the status of my hometown of Sunningdale. It's not a town anymore, it's not a village, and it's not a hamlet. My hometown is now part of a municipal district. The store, hotel, service station, pool hall are all long gone. The school was shuttered in 2007. There are currently 25 people living there, but it is still a community. There are families being raised in and around the area. There are entrepreneurial ventures scattered through the region, and there's a tremendous amount of agricultural activity going on. Grain to cattle and everything in between. This community is helping feed the world. My hometown is Sunningdale and the RM of 376 are just as important to Canada as any city or town. Just like each and every one of your communities is just as important to Canada. Every member municipality is just as important as any other. That's what creates the fabric of FCM. And it's our greatest strength, the diversity of our members. That diversity doesn't divide us, it brings us together. And as a result, we are stronger together. I humbly ask for your vote and your support. Stay safe, stay strong, and hug the ones you love. Oh yeah, and in closing, that 83-year-old with the drainage issue that I mentioned in my speech in Quebec City, she's now 97. She doesn't live in her single-family home anymore, but she still calls me once a week just to check in 
and to let me know what her thoughts are on about what's going on in Saskatoon. It's calls like that that remind me and reaffirm that I am helping to build better lives.